The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. We gather online for Advent prayer time, a time to pray and to know others are praying with us, a time to pray for guidance and support, to pray for our community and world, to pray for vision and imagination, to pray for peace and consolation. Welcome. This Sunday is the third Sunday of Advent, a time of waiting and watching and of hope. In our readings for Sunday, we hear the good news that business as usual is on the way out and something new is on its way in. The status quo of greed, selfishness, scarcity, and complacency no longer has power. A new day of mutual sharing and justice is almost here. For Advent prayer time, we hear the psalm for the coming Sunday, and the Bible includes many psalm-like canticles, and we'll use one of these this Sunday, and tonight, Isaiah 12, verses 2 to 6. To begin our prayer, hear God's presence in the words of Isaiah 12, praising God as our salvation, strength, and might. For Christians, the wells of salvation recalls our baptism. Here's our reading. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my might and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. And you will say in that day, give thanks to the Lord, call on God's name. Make known the deeds of the Lord among the nations. Proclaim that this name is exalted. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout aloud and sing for joy, O royal Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Here ends our reading. Thank you for your prayers this day. And to get us started, here's a simple prayer. Let us pray. Stir up our voices, O Lord, and open our ears to your ways. Be present in our prayers our lives, and our community. Amen. We offer our prayers together.